Redshift here, doing my part to shift perceptions out of the pink and into the red. And a little addendum here, which is something I should have said in my last video on pegging, but which I think I did not say. I read a little synopsis of that episode on pegging on a website, and the reviewer of the episode of that episode of the bold type about pegging, um, the reviewer of that episode said that in the episode, the girl who pegs her boyfriend said she didn't like it because she didn't like feeling dominant. But while I have not seen the episode, it sounds as if the episode presented the idea that women don't like dominating men, so men have nothing to fear from pegging, as if it's not going to be an incredibly destructive thing to allow to go mainstream in society. But men who understand women know that women do try to dominate men. And maybe the average woman would not like dominating her boyfriend by pegging, that would only be her initial reaction. If she continued to do it, then she would develop a taste for it, and then would enjoy doing it would enjoy dominating men, would get addicted to dominating men in that sexual way. She would develop a sadistic taste for dominating men. And you may say that that's her boyfriend's fault, but we don't live in a monogamous traditionalist society where marriage is a lifelong thing, so it's not like if she tried it out with one man and he didn't like it, then he would never let her do it to him again and she would never be able to do it again. Because she can just go and find another boyfriend and then do it to him. You know, what we live in is a promiscuous, serially monogamous society. Right? So women will get into pegging a boyfriend, and then the relationship won't work out for whatever reason, probably part of the reason being that she doesn't view him as a man because he let her do that to him. And then she will peg her next boyfriend, and then she'll just bounce from relationship to relationship, getting herself more and more into pegging, and getting more and more guys into having experimented with it. And then soon, guys will find it hard to find a woman who is not into pegging, because she's had so many boyfriends, and even if only 20% of her boyfriends let her peg them, and that 20% only let her do it to them once or twice, that's still enough to give her a taste for it, because she's maybe dated 20 guys, so that's four guys. So 20% of, you know, four guys, and, and is 20% is of 20 guys is four guys. And if they, of those four guys, you know, let her peg them twice, that's eight times. That's probably enough for her to develop a taste for it. So then because of gynocentrism, aka uh, the high demand for women, this means that women date more men than men date women. Girls have more sexual partners and more boyfriends over their lifetime than guys do. So this means that women will get into pegging before guys do. And then once women are into it, men will find it hard to find a girlfriend who is not into it. And then men will find it hard to avoid pegging because of every girl they date wanting to peg him. And then once he finally lets one of his girlfriends do it to him, even if he doesn't like it, it'll be the case that all of his future girlfriends will have a taste for it and will want to peg him as they'll also want to peg him. You know, not just the girlfriend who got him got him to try it, but you know, all his future girlfriends will want him want to do that with him as well. And then because he's done it once, it'll be easier to give in and let it happen again, and then he'll eventually get into it because all his girlfriends that he ever can get will, you know, want to do that with him and because all women in society will be into it. Because they'll all have been able to experiment with it by because they're able to date so much because you know, they can easily find guys because their SMB being so high. You see? So, you know, this'll this'll make, you know, so that a huge percentage of guys will get into it. And then those guys will know guys who are into it, the guys who don't aren't into it, and then they'll encourage their friends to get into it. And then, you know, the guys who are into it will encourage their friends who are not into it to get into it. And then more and more guys will get into it. And then before you know it, most guys, or at least a huge percentage of guys, like, you know, 30% of guys or 20% of guys will be into getting pegged by their girlfriend. That'll be their thing. They'll like doing it. They'll do it on a regular basis, maybe once a week. And that will be the end of masculinity, the end of conservatism, the end of patriarchy, the end of masculinity. The, you know, masculine, masculine conservatism and patriarchy at that point may very well never return. Especially since, you know, if we don't have, if we have not gotten our balls back yet or gotten rid of the government or formed our own country yet and, and gotten morality back and stuff by the time, and monogamy back and, and gotten women under control again by the time that genetic engineering arises, then they'll genetically engineer us all to be low testosterone, gullible, you know, um, and submissive and obedient and all the rest of it. And then men will be even more obedient and submissive to authority than women are today or than women even were in the past. You know, and that will be truly, truly the end of freedom, truly the end of defiance, truly the end of, of a free market or anarcho-capitalism, truly the end of morality, truly, truly the end of all good things. And then, you know, the elites will reign until they probably fuck up everything and make humanity go extinct. Um, this has been Redshift, peace trucks for people who engage in pegging and especially for the people who promote it.